security law and order. Now, since this year is an election year, it goes without saying that we have to prepare the security agencies so that they can ensure peace before, during, and after the election. We are doing all that we can so that we can make them ready to undertake this assignment. Now, there is evidence that crime has reduced in many areas. However, I'm not going to go to, into details. What we want, if possible, is a crime-free nation. Now, let me look at the various agencies. When you come to the armed forces, we are trying to make sure that they reach the level where they were some years ago. We have tried to do this. We have tried to do this through the supply of equipment and hardware to Navy and Air Force. But you may remember that in my last year's State of the Nation address, I stated that the 48 engineers regiment will be mainstreamed into the area of road production. Now, I'm happy to say that they are doing an excellent job. And I know that if we give them more facilities, they more than rise to the occasion. <laughs> now, as far as the police are concerned, we have increased their, rent, their strength by 4,000. And we have given, modernized their forensic facilities. We have also given them vehicles, communication gadgets, and bulletproof vests. 